snow is on our mind at all. It's getting the sun to come back at some point. And it is not far away. That's what I highlighted uh, during the 5.30 newscast. And here at the top of the show, I keep uh, flipping to Altoona, Penn State Altoona. That's where we're seeing the sunshine. Every once in a while, I, I go up to uh, Happy Valley to receive. Maybe we get a little more smiles in that location. Let's get back to those cameras, too. I'm always uh, focusing on the western side just to see if we can get that sun to arrive first as the cloud will be clearing along the western side. Willow Hill. If you look in the top left corner there of Willow Hill, I think we're beginning to see that happen and take shape. Uh, Chambersburg, maybe we can see that off into the distance too. We go to uh, Beaver Stadium there up toward Penn State uh, in Center County. That sun is now starting to reflect or at least shine there on Beaver Stadium. We can't see the sunshine there from that view, but we certainly can when we go to Penn State Altoona. So uh, I know uh, we're, we're pointing like, there it is, there it is. Why isn't it here? It's, it will be here eventually. We've uh, measured the rain again today. Uh, ninth day in a row, we've had measurable rain. Lower 60s. We have so much moisture at the surface. So here's what's a little deceiving. Satellite radar shows that we are clearing. We are indeed clearing. Here's the problem. We're clearing a lot, but we have so much ground moisture, surface moisture, that it will likely create areas of fog even with the clearing sky. So right now we're into the low to mid 60s. So the clearing skies, as much as we want that, that will likely create some areas of fog tomorrow morning and even some low clouds in spots, which means we're gonna have to burn that off first until we can get it. So notice it starts to show some of that development of fog first thing in the morning, the low clouds, burns it off late morning. Afternoon is great. Tomorrow evening is great. We actually get to see a sunset. Same thing happens for Friday. We'll get some of these clouds during the morning, but notice by the afternoon, we'll start to clear it out. And I even think some patchy valley fog will be possible on Saturday. Again, this all relates to the amount of moisture, surface moisture we have. But each afternoon, we should be getting back to that sunshine. The weekend looks dry. That's good, Alicia. Sunday night into Monday, we have a front. That could lead to a shower Sunday night. But more importantly, there is a cooler air mass to follow. Highs in the 60s next week, lows in the 40s. And it is going to be dry for most, if not all, of next week. So there's a lot of good news in that forecast. So let's show it back to you. Awesome, Eric. Hey, thank you so much.